Oh my god! Oh my god! What? Get out of my way! What? What is he doing? What's going on? What? It's here! It's here! It's here! John Ocean Man Aquatic sent us a mystery box. You don't know what's in it. I don't know what's in it. It doesn't matter. Insulated pack. As always, we're gonna see what's inside. We got some corals. I can't see what they are. They're in too much plastic. Let's see. But we got nine pieces. So I'm gonna start floating these and then I'll get back to you with what they are. Let's go. So the tank's just waking up. I've been up because we're grinding out here. So far, everything's been looking good except for the two mushrooms. For some reason, the one started to bleach, so I moved it into like almost a shaded area to try to get that to heal and get better. I'm not exactly sure why, but only half of it's white, half of it's staying green. So I'm gonna leave it less light, hopefully it recovers. And then the pink mushroom, which I guess it's not magic enough because it fell off the tape. I have no idea when or how. I just found it sitting in the rock. So I tried to re-glue it onto a frag plug. That didn't really work. Still learning here, hoping that maybe it recovers or that maybe we got another one. Speaking of another one, the coils are ready. I've been floating them for about 30 minutes now. So I'm gonna open them up and see, cause like I said, you don't know, I don't know, who knows? It's like it's a mystery box. All right, let's see what's inside. Oh, I might need a bigger bucket. All right, so once again, Michael John, Ocean Man Aquatics. I'm gonna put the link to his website and everything in the description below. Huge shout out to him and thank you for sending us these corals. Like I said, mystery box, I have no idea what the hell this is. And through my reefing expertise, I can guarantee you that these two things are Zoas. The rest look like corals. Yeah, the rest, I have no idea what the hell they are. I'm assuming this is some type of SPS. This is some type of SPS. This is some type of SPS. This, I actually have no idea what it is because it looks like half SPS, but it's like growing. No idea. These two things look like mushrooms. This looks like a Favia. Again, I don't know. They look really cool though. I'm excited to see how they look when they're not stressed from shipping and but now I'm gonna try to get, amazingly, the man whose salinity I try to match, my tank matches his. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of my water to, and then I'm gonna dip them and see how everything does. Ooh, what is all that garbage coming off? But so far, the corals do look awesome. Uh, I'm very pleased on what this mystery box entailed. So I'm gonna dip them and I'll come back to you with the results. I'm first adding my two Zoas to the Zoa garden, and it's gonna give me a total of eight Zoanthids, which honestly is pretty cool. Uh, the Zoa garden is keeping extending, so once they all grow together, that's when it'll actually start to look not like a bunch of different frags together. I added the two, well, the one definite mushroom, the one, I don't know if it's a Favia mushroom or what it is, so I'm gonna let those sit in there and see if they open up or whatever they do. I added the one definite Fabia that's a green and blue, which is cool contrast to the red and green and blue one that I have. This one coral is an absolute mystery. I don't know if you know, leave a comment below because I am stumbled. It looks a little green. Maybe something comes out of it. I have no idea. 
Then looking at these SPS, the sticks, one is like a fluorescent neon green, which looks really cool. One just looks like a dark turd. Another one looks like a dark turd with some neon green specks. So I'm not really sure what they're supposed to look like. I haven't seen half of these coils in my life. Kind of cool, kind of not so cool because I don't know if I'm going to kill them or not. But I'm going to let them sit in the tank for a couple hours and see what's good with them. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have the final results of the mystery box. Starting up on this left, we have a beautiful Gobstopper Zoa. Four heads, really is taking a nice liking to the tank. Opened up beautifully. Below it, we have another Zoanthid. Not exactly sure the name. It almost looks like a sunflower with the yellow in the middle. So that name will be pending. Below it, we have... I'm not, this is the one I'm actually unsure of after digging in some research. It looks almost like another Fabia, but not 100% sure. We're going to leave it there and see how it does until I figure out exactly what it was. But speaking about Fabias, ding, ding, ding. I'm 85% sure that this is one. And 85% of the time, I'm right 100% of the time. So we have this beautiful green Fabia. And then coming up, we got some more sticks. You know, I think... They're all acros, acroporas. And to the right, we have, I think it was a space, no, not a space invader, something like that, where it has that bright green. And then behind it, it's a really small guy. But that is the big one. I think it's a gobstopper, if my research was correct, that uh, acropora back there. And then again, I think this is another type of. SPS, not really sure, the really dull uh, blue stick. We'll see what happens with that one. Maybe it opens up, maybe it not, but here's actually my personal favorite. It is a, uh, what's it called? Encrusting Montepora. And that little like half circle will actually become a full plate almost. And I've always seen these in tanks before, and I'm like, what is this type of coral? It's so cool. And this is when they're huge. So right now, this little guy, I'm hoping, loves its spot. I had him in the sand earlier today. I thought it was a mushroom, but upon closer inspection, it is a beautiful Montepore. So now the SPS are going to be on the right side of the tank. Eventually, I would like to get another AI Prime and put it maxed out on the right side where all these... SPS curls are so they really get that full power but until then we're going to keep it going and everything looks good on the reef. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I, I need money for fish.